When I was doing the waterfall um, under the arches and uh, on the reservoir, I kept some of these um, little bits of plastic that I created, some water effects. So I'm just going to put a little stream in there, uh, put a dab of water effects on there, if I can get the damn stuff out. First drop. I'll tease that into position. Needs to go up a bit, I think. And I want that there. I think I'll need the scalpel and I'll need the Right, that def definitely needs leaving to dry, it's a bit dodgy, but um, yeah, that's, I mean, I'm looking through the lens of the camera now, but yeah, that's, that's quite effective, nice little overflow there from the castle, going down into the, the pond, and then um, I've got some realistic water left over from when I did the uh, reservoir um, there's not a lot in there but it might give enough to give the impression of depth so that is now gonna get what's left in there is gonna get poured in once it's in It's in, as it were. Where's my little stick? I'm going to get that level there. That's not too bad, actually. blue colour underneath so I'm not going to make the mistake I'm going to leave that to dry because I've been told 
you only put an eighth of an inch in at a time if you put too much in at the same time um, then it's going to take not just overnight but about five days to dry out so I'm going to leave that as it is for tonight um, and let that dry off because I'll be putting another lot in in that and building up the layers until I get the depth that I want um, but it's looking pretty good I like that I'm looking at the real thing as it were and I'm just looking through the viewfinder and uh, yeah I'm quite impressed with that just got a few more bits and pieces to do um, I need to add some more trees so I'll crack on with that um, I don't want to do too much you overwork something it's easy to add it in isn't it so I'll just uh, do a few more a few more trees in um, one is going to go here I'm not going to glue these in at the minute I'm just going to leave them um, I've got another one there hopefully you can see that I don't like the way that's, that's better that's better um, and again I got these bought for me so I'm going to use them uh, they may not be realistic enough for some people but it'll do for me so I'm just going to get that put in once I'm in create the hole drop that in like I said I'm not going to um, glue these in yet because I want to be able to arrange them or rearrange them I should say um, just see what I want probably two more here Why do my trees always lean? Right, I'll leave that for now and come back to it later.
in this section here I've uh, bought a pillbox and the reason why I bought that is that um, in the Avon Valley and in Margan Park and even on the mountain facing Port Alba um, we had loads of these as kids they were still around we used to play all day around them so I thought it would be a nice touch to put one back there so I'll just put it into position now and then um, gluing on um, some grass and to camouflage it as they were <coughs> I just brought back some happy childhood memories for me I'll just clear up the grass now get that in position um, bushes and then add a bit of track Okay, so what you're going to see me do now is um, I tried to put some steps in. You can see just about see the cardboard at the back there, but it didn't really work. Uh, so what I've decided to do now is use some lollipop sticks and carve out a path down the front of it using the Dremel. Just a tip: if you're going to do this yourselves, uh, make sure you've got some sort of ventilation on the Dremel because when you're cutting through uh, the plaster, it doesn't have cause a lot of dust. Uh, just from a health and safety point of view, uh, I actually used a vacuum behind the Dremel to do it, uh, just to clear it all out. So I'm just putting the um, put lollipop sticks in place, making sure that they fit and they're wide enough. So I'm chipping away bit by bit, or furtling, as I've been told it's called. Uh, thanks for that. Um, and then once the lollipop uh, sticks are in place, I'll then uh, use perp towel glue, bit of towel and glue and uh, basically try and um, match it up to the rest of it sorry about that something just rolled across my keyboard um, yeah so i hope you enjoy
So I'll change the um, view for the minute. Um, now we're going to put the flags on. Um, obviously it's going to be the Welsh flags. You'll see I've put four of uh, the Hogwarts houses on for my niece. Um, I know she wanted me to do Hogwarts, but this is the best I could do. So hope you like it, Ellie. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put four flags on. It'll be the Welsh dragons. And unfortunately, you're going to have to put up with a bit of gratuitous uh, Welsh national anthem. Okay, so I've now switched the views back down to the bottom. Um, that bit is now painted and dried. Now I'm adding the fences, and like I did with the steps. So there's a continuation from the very top of the castle all the way down, zigzagging down the steps, down the path, um, and down to the bottom. Uh, apologies for my hand and the glue bottle getting in the way, but when I'm filming this, uh, you forget the thing. <laughs> You're actually filming it. So I'll move it in a minute, you'll see, and then you'll get a better view of it. Um, I'm quite pleased with the effect. I still can't find my uh, little drill, so I'm just using a small screwdriver. Needs must, as it were. Um, I will find my pin drill uh, one day. I'll look for something else and it'll appear. Always away, isn't it? But yeah, it looks uh, it looks pretty good. So, oh, I've got a notification from Amazon. Why don't they be quiet when you try and record things? Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of this bit and then uh, I'll take you around the whole um, the whole model when it's finished. I'm just going to add some extra paints and bits and pieces, do it the waterfall, things like that. This is it in this finished version, as you can see. We've got the ramp going up. We've got the sidewall there. The rocks going over the tunnels. Coming up to the top, overlooking the top. The house in the background with the flags, the battlements, and down to the other side there, with the coming up to the track on the top. You've got the waterfall, the little lagoon, the little pathways. So yeah, that's the finish of that corner build for now. Obviously you can add stuff to it. I particularly enjoyed the, doing the railing. Again that side bit there. Going up. Steps going up to the top. So yeah. <laughs> A good job. Proud of that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's taken me a while, um, but I'm impressed. Dear Ockham Vaur. Mm -hmm.